Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie and I'm the owner of My Soigne. Today I'm going to go over my refresh routine with you, how I make my own DIY refresh spray using the My Soigne hair cream and My Soigne flaxseed gel, and how I style my hair. So here we go. So before I do anything else, I have to make my refresh spray. I am going to use this Flarisol bottle that I got from Sally Beauty. It just so happened to match my brand perfectly. Um, this bottle is 10 ounces and I believe it was about $10. But what I like about it is that unlike a regular spray bottle that you have to constantly keep pushing down to get a gust of liquid out of, you just kind of hold down this part here, this handle, and it just has a continuous flow of water. So it makes refreshing a lot easier. Highly recommend. So to make my spray, I'm going to start off by filling my bottle with about two thirds water. So that seems about right. Um, that's probably about five, I mean, probably about six ounces of water. So we got our two thirds water in our spray bottle. Now I'm going to take the My Swanya hair cream and I'm going to take about maybe a nickel size amount and put it in my spray bottle. So that's about how much I'm taking. And I am just going to scrape it in there. Pretty soon I will have squeeze bottles and this will be a lot easier, but that'll be another video for another time about my packaging. Okay, you know, I'm gonna do a little more for good measure. A little good luck. Anyway. Okay, close the jar. And now I'm going to take my my Soigne Flaxy Gel, and I'm going to use about a quarter of this, AKA a big lump. Ah, I'm falling, okay. Ugh. And just gonna, gonna get that in there. Yes. I mean, the good thing about these products, the hair cream and the Flaxy Gel is that they're also excellent for your skin. So if you get a little on your skin, just rub it in and keep going. I use them on my skin all the time. Little more. Good luck. Just like, you know, you put an extra candle on your birthday cake for good luck. A little, little extra dollop of gel. Never hurt nobody. Cover it back up. And now the fun part. So we are just going to Put our flourisol top on, nice and tight, and give this a great shake. So you can see the product is nice and mixed in there. You got that like cloudy color, so you know that it's all dissolved within the water. Um, just a little pointer. Um, I do have preservative in my products, of course, because they are water-based products. So with any water-based product, you need a broad spectrum preservative to maintain shelf life. Otherwise it would go bad in a few days. Um, so even though I have preservative in my products, the ratio of water changes when you make this refresh spray. So you really, this refresh spray, you only want to make enough for maybe a couple days. And Anything past that bacteria will start to grow. Um, probably not like super quickly because there is some preservative in there, but it will grow f faster than, you know, if you have the right amount of preservative. So keep that in mind. Okay, so now let's style this hair. It's obviously a mess. I'm just gonna part my hair. I also want this to be quick because it's a refresh, so. Lovely knots. Yee. So I am just going to divide and conquer here. 
here we go. So I'm getting my hair damp, I'm not getting it soaking, drenching, drenched, not getting it as wet as I would out of the shower, because otherwise I might as well just take a shower. Um, so just gonna kind of like finger comb through here, get out the knots. Now, I did just get this Denman-like brush, so I'm going to try this out. And I also just want to make sure my product is evenly distributed, so we're going to do some of this. I'm interested to see how this comes out. And also brushing your hair is not super is not part of the curly girl method so do it that way you want all right now I'm gonna do this side and I'm just gonna do this again and I'm gonna do this in small ish sections because I don't want huge huge clumps or you know the bigger the clump, the longer it's going to take for your hair to dry. Actually, I, think I mean, that was pretty quick. That was pretty quick. That's a third of my head. Next section. Okay guys, so hair is complete. It is all wet. This is about how much of the spray I used. So I feel like I probably didn't even need to make this much. Um, it was about up here, a little less than half, I guess, on my head. Um, so if I need to refresh again tomorrow or the day after, I'll still use this spray, anything. Beyond that, I might, like I would probably just remake it. Okay, so my hair is all complete. You saw me spray my head, do it in sections. I use the Denman brush. Um, now I am actually just going to do a little diffusing because I want to go to Ikea today. So I want my hair to be dry. When I diffuse, I'm using the My Soigne collapsible diffuser. I really like using this diffuser because I like the way it kind of just morphs to the side of my head and I feel like I can really get up up to the top of my head and get my roots. I will use the low air setting and I will alternate between cool and medium. Mostly cool because I don't want heat on my head. It hurts when it's hot. I don't want heat damage. So using the cool setting right now. I'm just going to kind of hold this over my curls for a little bit. Start getting it to the side. So I'm noticing this is a little wonky right here in front. Probably because I parted it after. So I'm just going to wet it again real quick. So my hair is like dry enough now. I can get dressed, go about my day, do whatever I need to do. Um, 
It's obviously not completely dry. It's just maybe like 80% dry, which is good enough for me. I'm going to do all the things I just said. I'm gonna go get dressed. I'm gonna go hang out with baby girl and maybe we'll go to Target or Ikea today. I don't know. I will be back to show you my hair once it's fully dry so you can see the results. See you soon. Hey guys, so I'm back. My hair is dry. Um, it's actually got a light cast in some spots. So, like right here, you can see. This is how my hair is looking right now. I think I got some pretty good ringlets in here. And yeah, so I'm just going to take some oil and a little on my palm here, you can see, ah. mix it up, put it on my hands like this, and I'm just going to go in and get rid of this little bit of crunch. And also, I don't want a flat head of hair, so I'm going to go in and make some volume. Just getting out the crunch alone should give me a little bit more volume. To this side. So what I'm going to now do is just um, separate some of these bigger curl clumps. The more you separate your curls, the more they have to kind of pile up on top of one another. And the more they have to pile up on one on top of one another, the more volume you'll create. I'm also not afraid of frizz. I mean, I personally think frizz is great and beautiful and natural and adds to volume. So I'm okay with frizz. I do want to have some defined ringlets in there. Like I don't just want to be one big frizz ball. Just kind of play with my hair a little bit. I'm also like, I know they say the, you know, the less you touch your hair, the more defined it'll be, the less frizz, frizz you'll have. But who wants to live their life like that? Like I want to play with my hair and touch my hair and I don't want to not like be too afraid to touch it because of a little bit of frizz. <sighs> I'm just going in separating. So now what I'm gonna do, um, take like a tad more oil. And I'm gonna flip a little massage. So this is it, this was my refresh routine. Um, hopefully you got some good stuff out of this video. If you've tried this refresh routine, just let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think and how it worked out for you. If there's anything you want to see me make a video on specifically, please drop that down in the comments as well. I love to hear what you guys want and love to hear some new ideas. And if you liked this video, please just hit that thumbs up down below and just hit that little subscribe button would mean a lot to me. So guys, um, that's it for now. I'll see you all later. Till then, bye.